nowadays. <laughs> the guys don't have enough sense to keep their pecker in their pants. The women don't have enough sense to keep their legs together. So what do we do? We turn to let the government take that responsibility. Oh, golly. Uh, child support. <laughs> we need the government to take care of that. The government will prosecute the guy that won't keep his pecker in his pants. And the government, I, this this what I think is one of the most hilarious. The government, the woman that refuses to keep her legs together and keeps having babies, the government rewards. <laughs> so, I mean, financially rewards. It gives her money, food, and all kinds of stuff, you know. So, you know, it's just... And we wonder why the morality of the United States has hit the ditches. I mean, what do you expect? I, I don't, I don't understand it. Way beyond my imagination. And the thing is, the government doesn't give a shit about you. <laughs> the government wants people. The government wants people with their hand out. Because the government wants people that can't um, defend for themselves. The government wants weak individuals. <laughs> oh, man. So the government lets us produce more weak individuals. I don't know. This is way beyond, way beyond anything that I can imagine. Okay. Back to my story. Okay. So, so I asked them, because I said, I can't help them. I told them I can't help you. I mean, you, there's a problem here and you went beyond that problem to create even more problems. I mean, what do you expect me to say? <laughs> you know, I mean, I can't say anything, I can't do anything. I mean, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna make problems and continue making problems, nobody is gonna come up with the answers. The idea is to avoid the problems. Okay. Now, this is what they do down here. Okay. <clears throat> the woman needs to go back to the father and ask the father, is he going to commit? Will he marry the girl. I mean, he's the father no matter what, married or not. So that's going to be, and when, and if he decides to marry her, then he will be committed to uh, being the, fa uh, the father and the husband. Okay. Now, if he chooses not to marry her, Will he give her money for the baby? And uh, what that is down here, what, the, what it is down here, is to pay the hospital, pay the doctor bills for the, for the baby, uh, pay the doctor bills for the kid, uh, give him money for food, uh, and this is if you don't marry him. Give him money for food. And, uh, you know, I think that's a bad idea. <clears throat> now, 
if the guy chooses not to marry her, chooses not to uh, uh, commit to the to the kid, then uh, the woman can work. She's already got a job. She can work, and uh, they've got uh, Obamacare, national care. They got down here, so the government will pay for the baby, and uh, the government gives the baby, the kid, medicine, takes care of his medical expenses. Uh, the mother will work and pay for the food and the, and, uh, the clothing for the kid. <clears throat> So, uh, I think that's basically the three options <clears throat> that the kids got that could happen to the kid. Those are the three options. Well, the, the fourth, I guess, is fourth is my friend. My friend could take the commitment. And, uh, uh, he could go on and pay for the baby and, and do all that kind of stuff. Or, or he could go on and uh, uh, marry, the, marry the girl and be the father and be, the, or be, be her husband and uh, be the father for the kid. <clears throat> so... Or he could just, uh, uh, what, do they, what do they say? With no commitment, he could just uh, give her money. He got plenty of money. He could just give her money for the kid or give her the money for the, or, or not give her any money. Just uh, mainly treat her like a whore and, uh, whenever they go out and give her some, some money, spending money or whatever, you know, so. I think those are the options that they've got going. And it's funny, to me, it's really funny anyway, that if, if the girl would have took responsibility and made a commitment to either her ex-boyfriend, the father, or made a commitment to the new guy before she found out she was pregnant, uh, or if the, the ex-boyfriend would have made a commitment before she got pregnant, uh, And, but if, if, if these people somewhere early, <laughs> before the peckers came out of the pants and the legs spread, if they would have made a commitment, there wouldn't be any problems. Isn't that odd? So... Yes, I got a solution. I got a solution to a problem that shouldn't have been a problem. That was take personal responsibility. Nobody took personal responsibility clear up till now. And now there's a problem. And that's what I say. It's funny because I have people email me all the time. And I basically give them the same information, and that is take personal responsibility. And that, if your problem has to do with health, that'll be, that'll be it. If the problem has to do uh, with money, uh, personal responsibility. You know, if uh, problems with relationships, personal responsibility. Uh, it, it's funny because I'm, I can't think of any, but I'm sure there is, but I can't think of any problem that can't be taken care of by taking personal responsibility. 
And uh, I say, if you take personal responsibility before something becomes a problem, you won't have a problem. And I feel bad because I'm older, I'm wiser, I've had good experiences. Even though I've had problems, I've never had problems. I've had a few problems, I'll put it that way. A few problems that were so overwhelming that uh, it couldn't be resolved. And um, all of it took personal responsibility. And a lot of times when it comes to uh, relationships of some type, it takes personal responsibility on both sides. And if you can't get it on the other side, well, you know, you didn't, you, that, that's the problem. That's always the problem. If you don't have communications, you're, you're never going to have, you're always going to have uh, problems. So, uh, so trying to get people to take personal responsibility is, is a hard thing.